What's up guys? It's Thursday. That means it's Mac Tools. Mac Daddy Thursday. So let's take a look and see what he's got. You guys, come on. Have you recuperated yet? I have. Enjoyed my Monday off and somewhat laid low. It was a good, good time Saturday. It was. Busy Saturday. For those that didn't get to make it, y'all missed one hell of a party, didn't they? They did. <laughs> they did. Well, what did you think about the band? They were good. I know we live streamed it and I went back and listened to some of it on the live stream. It don't sound near as good as really? what it was. Yeah. It, it was, uh, uh, they did a good job. It was good. And they're all from pretty much here in Boonville, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was, uh, it was a good time. Lots and lots and lots and lots of malted barley water got consumed. It, uh, it was a half a dumpster full of cans and bottles. <laughs> and... What'd you think about the Boston butts? We didn't stay long didn't enough stay, to eat. That's right. So, y'all missed that. Um, my dad and them, they were cooking steaks that night. So we got done. Y'all missed it. Cut out, went and ate with them. So. Well, how'd y'all end up doing? We did good. Was it worth the drive it up was. here? It, it was. We had a... We had a good good day, good turnout. So. There's a lot of cool people here too, you know. Mm -hmm. um, we got to meet Joe Griffin and James Bearden, and man, they was people from all over, and everybody was cool, super cool people. So, a couple from Dallas was really cool. Yeah, that dog was priceless. Yeah, he was cool. I'm telling you, Looks man, like it was the, a, the thing off Star Wars. <laughs> it was a great, great time. Did you see the picture of him in the car with the Beware dog? <laughs> with the beware dog sign you had out front we sure had a good time man i wish i could afford to do that twice a year because i would it was it was awesome i don't know that we'll top this year though this is gonna be it's gonna be hard to beat this one the only way we're gonna beat that is have garth brooks or jason aldean play after that band plays. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That was an awesome little dog, man. I, I had a lot of fun. Them, them was some cool people too, you know. Mm -hmm. They passed out huggies in there after uh, we got going. It was, it was great. A lot of fun. Well, everybody be fussing if I don't show some tools. All right. So we better show some tools because we don't need no crying today. Um, I got a lot of the, waiting on a lot of the, fly, some more of the flyer stuff to come in. Um, we dug up some specials that still left that we've been holding back for the, uh, event. So, um, if anybody's still looking, I still got some of the two-pack die grinders. Mm-hmm. Those are a good deal. They Those are. Those are good grinders. Um... The battery terminal cleaner and the parasitic draw tester. Finally had some of those come in off back order back there. The uh, two-pack carbide scrapers with the free uh, blowgun. That deal finally come in. So that's back there. And uh, I dug up some of our old sales on the digital caliper. Mm -hmm. You get the free micrometer with it. Yep. That's a good one. So that's some of the stuff that we had put back for the event. So, well, did y'all sell a bunch of RBRT stuff? They Seemed did. like everybody that came off of here had a was talking about they RBRT. Did. So, and, uh, could have had a few more of a few things, but can't have everything. So. That's true. That's true. But well. 
Got anything exciting you want to show us today? I'm trying to think of something new I've got, man, lately. Oh. Uh, is that the speakers that you was talking about? With, it is. For the, that you ordered in? The ball speakers? Yeah. So, those things are really loud. Um, and then the nice thing about them is it's uh, multi-link. You can connect up to a hundred of them together. Wow. Run from one device. Control all of them. Um, it's, they're pretty impressive. What are those running? Uh, 159, I believe. Well, he'd have a lot of money tied up in a hundred of them, wouldn't he? Yeah, but he'd have a dang concert <laughs> hall on his hands, so. <laughs> Could you imagine trying to charge all of them at one time? Mm. Be rough, wouldn't it? I, I have one guy, though, that he bought four just to sit around his pool. Yeah. So, he's, he, he enjoys them. That's cool. So... That's a different looking hat right there, that digital camo, that's good. Yeah, that's something we just got in, and all those colors go real good together. Yeah, that one's cool. And then that one. And that's some of the new crypt cryptic stuff, I believe is what they're calling it. Hmm. Fish camouflage. Yeah, more or less. I don't say I ever caught anything as a kid. I'd fish topless. And I'm white as a ghost, you know, so. <laughs> Just imagine if I'd had on some camouflage, what I could have done with some of them Walmart uh, Zoom worms. Oh, man. <laughs> and, uh, We'd fish a lot in lakes, you know, and I'd get so mad at them little old brim, I'd want to go down there with a sign net and just sign them out and throw them up on the bank, you know. I'd go to Walmart, of course. You know, it's a tough challenge for a kid to get to Walmart and get worms and all that to fish with him. They'd bite the darn fire tails off them worms. They'd just bite the tail off of them, yeah. you know. Boy, it used to piss me off them things so bad. Uh, see, if I'd had the fish camouflage on, I probably could have. Yeah, but, I mean, they wouldn't even have known you were there to, to bite your tails off. Sure uh, enough. I got in some of the DeWalt 60 volt flex volt grinders. Mm. Uh, that, that's a new thing I just got in. Um, and finally, we've had them forever in red. We now have some picks in this kit in orange and green. Yep. So they've always done this set in red, but mm -hmm. the that's orange. The, that's the set I bought not long ago was the red one. Uh, they have orange and green in them now. And then two, we also have, uh, it's pretty much the same handle, I believe. I don't have them in yet. Uh, scrapers that are coming in that match up with this set too. Cool. It's a, it's, a, it's a whole set of scrapers. It's going to be one of the upcoming deals. Um, that's going to be a pretty neat little set. So. How do these big sets like this of the RBRT, are they kind of harder to sell just for the price point? They are. Yeah. They are, but I mean... That's the master set there. It is the master set, and you know... It is expensive. Don't I um, mean? You know, there's. Is no that the one with the uh, extractor set in it also? It is. Well, that one's not. That's uh, the master torque. Yeah, that's the master torque. No, no, master or hex there. But the master torque set, you know, it is high. You know, there's no denying that. But you also get. Yeah, that's the one I was talking about. The bits. About. Got the, the stubby bits. You know, what were your bits for, like your quarter drive bits and things like that. But then you also got your stubbies, your regular links, your longs, plus you get the foreign object removals with right. it. So, I mean, it is an investment, but I mean, you're getting a lot for your mm -hmm. investment. That one's got the long ones too in it. Mm -hmm. I don't have the long set like this. I need to get the long ones because but, I mean, even on your stubbies, you're going from 8 all the way up to 60. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it's... What's the biggest one in that kit? Is that the T100 set? Yeah. Yep. T100. All the way up to 100. That's what I was thinking. That's a... And the nice thing... pretty much cover it all right there. If you don't want the blow motor case in your way in your box, you can just pull that out and put it in your box. Yep. So... Yeah, I know that set's pretty pricey, but when you break it down, you know, like if you per piece or if you break it down, 
you know, well, I got to buy the stubby set, the extractor set, this set, this set, this set. It's probably cheaper to go with a master set, you know, if you wanted to get them all. One thing I wish they did do is put a Torx up to like a T55 or a mm -hmm. T60 in with a hex set. So, you know, just do like standard metric hex and Torx. Yeah. All in one. And, but, I mean, and still, I mean, that's still a lot. That would still be a pricey kit to do. Exactly. But it'd be one kit, you know. Because mm -hmm. like some of our other Mac stuff we have, you can get a hex and Torx set. I just wish that, that we could get the same in this. Right. So that would, that would be handy. Just therefore you could have one box, close it up and go. You right. know, if you needed to make a road call with it or knocking stuff off this morning. It happens. I knocked a bunch of stuff off Sunday morning. And, and with the uh, hex set here, you also have got your ball hex in it. Yeah. Those are pretty cool, you know. I know they're not gonna, they're not gonna have the removal you know, they don't remove rounded stuff as well as the regular, but there's right. a lot of times that you just can't get on stuff straight. Um, like for that, when I was putting that deck system in, I took it out of my truck and you have to take the wheel out from under the bottom of it. Can't get it out without it. And you cannot get it on there straight. But luckily I had the, and you better use the RBRT set cause they are soft. You know, the, yeah. the, the bolts are soft. I actually used the stubby with a quarter inch wobble extension, I was able to get it done, but a ball would have been a, done a lot better job. Yeah. But, um, like that's something you don't want to strip out for sure. Right and the ball hacks, I have a couple of people that are big motorcycle guys that um, they say if you own a Harley Davidson and you don't have a set of those RBRT balls, you just miss it out. Yeah. Well, I know, uh, those RBRT, a lot of people think they're just for removing the rounded stuff, you know, but they're if you use it the first time, it won't round out on you. Or at least shouldn't. Yeah. Even with some cheap Chinese stuff, you know, you know, it's going to be softer metal. That's where you're going to run into issues with. And it's not the fastener or it's not the tool's fault. It's the fastener, you know, just when you make it out of mud, it ain't going to hold up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Another neat deal I got in the other day that I've been waiting on. Now that's a quarter set of extensions there. Yep. Sure is. I've got a Matco set identical to that that I bought. The same, same set looks like. Yeah. And uh, you beat everybody else's price on every other tool that I've ever compared if I didn't know. Really? Yeah, if I didn't know y'all had them, we would've went that route. Cause I actually had to get our dealer to order that set cause they didn't keep it on the truck. And uh, I'm gonna have to start doing, I'm, that's what I'm gonna have to do. Whatever tool I need, I need to wait a week for buying it that <laughs> way. Cause I mean, you know, a guy may not realize it, but 15, $20 a week will add up over a year, you know? Oh, for sure. This is another neat deal. I don't know if I've shown it before or not, but. It's a two-piece deal. Screwdriver, I got one that you can put a bit in as a screwdriver, or you can put a quarter socket on. Looks like just a long screwdriver or mm -hmm. quarter. Oh, it's flexible. Oh, that's cool. You get in those tight, hard to reach spaces up in the, off in a fender well mm -hmm. or. Yeah, that's pretty I've cool. I've sold several there. of these sets to some body shops. We've talked about it before, but, but then them body shop. Have. Oh, the bit driver. Bit driver as well. Those body shop guys, man, I don't see how they do it. Like some of the vehicles that I've seen parked outside ready to work on, look like they just need to go to scrap. And then you go by three weeks later and they'll just finish buffing it, pulling it outside. You know? <laughs> they do some amazing work. Makes you wonder about buying a used vehicle, don't it? Hey, whatever. From time to just, time, you know, know. It's kind of like you better off not to even know. Yeah. You know. Just don't tell me. Uh, yeah. Do you want to see the Carfax? No, nope. I don't. Nope. Sure don't. But, but 
them guys can work some miracles and I don't even see how they get some of the stuff loose off the vehicles as bad as they're they're crinkled up, you know, like fender bolts and stuff. I don't know how they do it. All I know is you put some clamps on them, um, frame machine, just pull it out to where you can get to some of that stuff. I don't know. Those guys are, they do amazing work. Did you have any of the lights on here that's got the Find Me technology? Find My Light? Yeah. Somebody was asking about one of them because I, I showed it in that flyer. I said it works kind of like the old cordless telephones where I used to page. Yeah. Page the phones. Nowadays, people don't even have phones at home. They just have a cell phone. Yeah, That's there one. It is. So there is what it looks like. 600 lumens. And then it's got a button on the base that you press and it will make the light beep so you can remember where you left it. And I want to say that the base will run more than one light. Oh, cool. Um, you can, it's got like the old garage door code adjusters mm -hmm. like in the back of a garage door remote and you can just set your light accordingly. So as long as it's between, you know, no more than a 250 foot away, it'll yep. tell you where it is. And then if somebody else is in the shop and they got the same light, you can adjust the codes. Therefore, you aren't paging each, page each other's light. Yep. Yeah. That's kind of like those old RC cars. You remember that when they they used to not have but one channel built in those remote control cars. So you'd have to buy like whatever gigahertz car. And like if you had one, you had to make sure yours was on a different channel because one remote would make both cars go. And then That'd they be kind got, of fun though. No, it ain't, because say me and my brother got remote control cars <laughs> one time. It, was, it ain't fun at all. It's terrible. And then later on, they got sophisticated and started putting channels in it where you could have like a four channel car. Right. And that way, you and three other buddies could. Gotcha. Drive them. So. But see, I remember when remote control cars wasn't wireless. Like, you had to walk behind it with a cord attached to it. Yeah. You probably. That, that was probably I, I've pre, seen some of them. Pre Michael Boom Baby time, right there. Um, <laughs> but that's that was the first remote control car I had. Like you had to walk behind it. I'd hate to know how many remote control cars I've gone through over the years. I used to love those things. Yeah, I did too. Those things are fun. Now, kids, if it ain't on a video game, they ain't playing with it. Don't even get me started on that. Same way with baseball, you know pitiful the times so. we live in it's it's ridiculous if a computer can't do it it ain't worth having no more you know so. yep i'm not gonna go there because i'm not offend somebody because somebody probably just bought a new playstation game or uh what is some what's that other system they got the xbox xbox yeah xbox. somebody probably just bought a new xbox games for their kid so it's funny like <clears throat> i am gonna tell this story like one of my little cousins it was time i heard him talking one day about playing baseball him and another guy was gonna play baseball tonight i'm like cool where y'all playing at i thought they're gonna play at the park i'm gonna go over here and show them up you know show yeah. them how old man can hit a ball oh no they're talking about playing on that stupid nintendo thing i'm like boy that ain't baseball <laughs> That's some video games. He goes, no, we play all the time. We have big tournaments. I'm like, I don't want to hear that. Don't even talk to me about that. We had a big backyard growing up, which our house has a lot that was between us and another house, kind of a cul-de-sac. So, so y'all was, was like the sand lot. Like the sand Kind of. Yeah. But, I mean, all the neighborhood kids come over. We always played back, you know, in the back corner of our yard back there. Um... Got in trouble for stealing hubcaps off one of Dad's trucks, old beater truck he just base, used in the yard bases. for bases. <laughs> and I won't forget that whooping. But um, as long as you didn't steal the Babe Ruth baseball, well, yeah, absolutely. You know, but I mean, you would not Porter Porter Hamilton, was you? No, no. <laughs> but we uh, y'all remember him talking about Porter Hamilton? That yeah. was, I mean, that was every day in the summer. I mean, yeah. you know, that's just. Man, I tell you what, that was fun times back then. Like, you didn't have a care in the world. Like, the the worst thing was 
can you finish the game before dark? You hope it didn't rain that day. Like, those were the good times, man. Like these little fellas now, they don't get to experience that, and it's sad. That, and we had a, sad. Uh, two lakes at the front of our neighborhood up there, and every day I'd get on my bike and grab my tackle box and my fishing pole, and I was gone Chunk to the lake. Chunk rooster tails out there. Man, that's so, what I used to love to fish with, them rooster tails, too. They'd, the they'd tear up some fish, and especially in little lakes like that. But. I was I was never one of the ones to have a video game or and I'm a brother. He could sit in there for hours and do that. But Yeah. I didn't care nothing about them video games mm -hmm. either. I wanted to be outside and climbing trees and man, we'd throw ropes over limbs and like swing. It's one where we didn't all get killed, you know, some of the <laughs> some of the junk we did. And then we'd take bicycles apart and make Franken bikes. Take a bunch of different bicycles and put them together and make one bicycle. Yeah. Interesting. So. Yep. If you guys ain't never tried to take a chain apart to add chain to it and took wire and run through it so you could make the chain longer, it works until the sprockets will chew the wire into. But hey, when it happens, it's always fun to watch whoever's riding it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to get back in here. I got a few things I need to ask Michael about, uh, some stuff I'm wanting him to order for me. But like always, thank you all for watching. Thanks for hanging out with us on this awesome Thursday merchandise here. Cool tools and discount codes are down there. And if you're not subscribed, all you got to do is take your finger, click the button, and you're in. You guys have a great week, and we will catch you all later. See ya.